today's episode we'll be taking a closer look at the Class 345 Avantra Electrical Multiple Unit or EMU built by Bombardier between 2015 and 2019. A total of 79 car Avantras were constructed to serve on what was at the time being referred to as Crossrail but is better known to the public today as the Elizabeth Line. The £1 billion order awarded to Bombardier in February 2014 was initially for 65 nine car units with an option to purchase a further 18 if required, but in the end, 70 units were constructed in total. In 2019, Transfer for London took the decision to sell the units it had purchased and then lease them back from a consortium comprising of Equitix Investment Management Limited, NatWest and SMBC Leasing. The 20-year deal would see TfL receiving £875 million, which it then used to invest in a new fleet of trains for the deep tube network known as the New Tube London. Leasing trains is of course nothing new with the vast majority of trains in the UK leased to train operating companies from rolling stock leasing companies or Roscoe's. The trains were constructed at Bombardier's Litchurch Lane Works in Derby, with the first unit rolling off the production line in July 2016. The first units to enter service were in fact only 7 cars long, not 9, but would eventually go on to be lengthened to 9 cars. The use of the shorter units to begin with was due to the fact that the platforms at Liverpool Street could not accommodate 9 car units at the time of their introduction. The platforms were however lengthened to just over 200 metres in 2021. The seven car units first entered service on the eastern section of what is now the Elizabeth Line between London Liverpool Street and Shenfield. Then in May 2018 the units entered service between London Paddington and Hayes and Harlington. Delays to the Crossrail project meant that the Class 345s didn't enter service on the core section between Paddington and Liverpool Street until May 2022, three years later than planned. The phased introduction of the service saw Class 345s operating between Paddington and Abbey Wood, with services operating west from Paddington to Reading and Heathrow, and east from Liverpool Street to Shenfield. In November this year, TfL plans to operate trains from Reading and Heathrow to Abbey Wood, and from the Elizabeth Line station at Paddington to Shenfield. Then, hopefully in 2023, trains will begin to operate fully from Reading and Heathrow in the west, through the core section between Paddington and Liverpool Street to Shenfield and Abbey Wood in the east. As for the trains themselves, the 9 car units, which are 200 metres long, have a seating capacity of 454, but can accommodate up to 1,500 passengers. It's only when you walk from one end of the train to the other that you realise how long a 200 metre long train really is, and they're certainly a great deal longer than the trains operating on the London Underground. Despite the units being long, a full 9 car set only weighs about 319 tonnes, which is very light for a heavy rail vehicle such as the Avantra, and this is largely down to the fact that the bodies were constructed out of extruded aluminium. The units have a top speed of 90 miles per hour or 145 kilometers per hour with power to drive the units coming from 20 to 150 kilowatt traction motors contained within 10 of the bogies providing a total power to the rail of 4400 kilowatts or 5900 horsepower. This impressive amount of power can accelerate the units at a rate of 3.6 kilometers per hour per second or 2.2 miles per hour per second. But despite the impressive performance it's claimed that units use 30% less energy than older EMUs. This is thanks in part to the lightweight design mentioned previously and the use of regenerative braking. The regenerative braking system basically sees the traction motors being used as generators whilst under braking which returns electricity to the power distribution network. Not only does this improve the efficiency of the units but it also cuts down on brake wear as well. Inside, the units have relatively few seats, but do have a mixture of 2 plus 2 and longitudinal seating. I'm guessing this mixture of seating is designed to accommodate passengers travelling medium distances, say from Heathrow to Paddington, who would prefer 2 plus 2 seating, and those who are only travelling a short distance, say from Liverpool Street to Tottenham Court Road, who would either be standing or sat on the longitudinal seats. The padding on both the high back seats and the longitudinal seats is a little bit firm in my opinion and I'm not sure how comfortable the units would be from say Reading to Paddington but for shorter journeys the seat comfort is more than adequate I think. The Avantras like many modern multiple units feature wide gangways which allow passengers to move easily throughout the train. The units also feature air conditioning, passenger information displays and at many stations provide step free access. TfL state that 10 of the stations served do not need boarding ramps at all to get onto the train, whilst all Elizabeth Line stations feature step-free access from the street to platform level. So that's the Class 345 Avantra, a train that along with the new tunnels underneath London is already transforming the lives of commuters across the capital. I hope you found this video informative, if you have please do hit that like button, leave a comment and consider subscribing, it really is appreciated, but I'm going to leave it there for today, say until next time. Bye-bye.